Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Ascension Diaries YouTube channel. My name is Alexis, and this is a Schumann Resonance Report video. I haven't posted one in a while, but this particular scenario that we're in right now is worth reporting, and I wanted to tell you all about it, give you some extra data to add to it, but let's jump in right now and see. I want to show you what's happening. So what we see here is a... I would say it is similar to a blackout situation, but when you appear and peer closely enough, you can kind of see that here at 4 p.m. Mountain Pacific time here, which is the 6, right around the 5 or 6, there was one little node, and then that same node has been copied and pasted for multiple hours, except for this one random like weirdness right here pretty much the same information it looks like is being copy and pasted copy and pasted multiple times an hour even not even just an hourly thing this is like this is smaller than the gap between hours so it's almost like two to an hour this data is being copied and pasted copied and pasted copied and pasted and now we are going on a i would say i think we're on 45 hours now and we're about to make it to two whole days um, I guess, yeah, so we're getting close. We're pretty much almost at two whole days of this error occurring on the charts. And so when I see errors like this and when things like this happens on the chart, you can imagine that I get a lot of messages. I have a lot of people messaging me who are concerned, they're excited, they're confused. And then I will see people who are, I would say, Ascension bloggers or channelers or so on, take something like this and, you know, they watch it. They watch it casually. They report on it when it gets exciting, but they don't watch it all the time. Uh, as I would say, as much as perhaps myself or others who look at it almost every single day because this is my blog. This is what I do. And they're taking this information and sometimes I find that they'll take it and they will proclaim something very extravagant about what and why this is going on. They want to answer the questions of the community. And I think that's totally fine. Everybody has the right to, to do that. And I, I'm just offering myself as a source that I know many of you trust about this information to share with you that this, in my opinion, is a very fascinating occurrence which is drawing people's attention in. We're very, very aware now, most people who watch the Schumann are now have gotten the information that this is happening because it has happened over now multiple days. And it's funny how this information is here, but it's also not here. There is something being given to us, but also we are, it's obvious that things are not being given to us. And in my opinion, it's a very clever way to draw attention to these charts, to draw attention to this phenomena, and also not provide the truth <laughs> exactly and allow it to be up to speculation. And I've noticed that this has happened many times throughout my watching and the last time that we had a, an occurrence like this it was actually all black it wasn't all colored like this and it was all black and it was 41 hours long and it was on October 14th 2019 last year and that was the first time I ever and pretty much the only time that I've ever publicly stood in front of a group of people and presented my research about the Schumann resonance so that was super funny today I'm not doing that that particular timeline isn't matching but I did mention in my blog that there are things that possibly have occurred around the same time last year during one of these long blackouts, which for me and for all of us was October 14th. And then what was happening today and what was happening recently that was occurring the same way. That's what came to mind. That's what I wanted to discover. So in the comments below, I'd really love to hear, or you could go back on your camera roll on your phone and look at what you were doing October 14th and uh, compare it to what's happening right now. So just to give you a little bit more information about the Schumann resonance, you can see here that the amplitude chart is flatlining, but it's not flatlining at zero amplitude. It's again, it seems like it's copy and pasting, but there are also these small shifts and increments that are still showing up and changes because this isn't normal. This isn't the exact copy paste, copy paste. So there is a little bit of movement still happening on the chart, which is kind of bizarre if this is a copy paste situation. And again, it's not amplitude zero. We aren't flatlining at zero. We're flatlining at around, around an amplitude of a five and a half. 
five and a quarter and just doing little tiny dances at least with the 7.83 the primary frequency here the other frequencies are also dancing around a five five or a four and now we have the frequencies are all um, flatlining as well so the flatline frequency is just above it's just about 8 hertz. So 7.83 is the average, but now you can see here that right now it's slightly above 7.83. Here's 7.96 for reference. So it's slightly above it. It's right, right under 8, 8 hertz. And we're just f dancing around 8 hertz. Is this accurate data? I, I can't tell you. It doesn't appear to be fully accurate. It feels like there's something going on, but it's weird that there's still data coming in that is slightly changing. And again, so where are we flatlining with the second frequency that usually hangs out around 14? Well, now it looks like it's just underneath 14. And the next one, it's just above, <clears throat> it's just like 19.6, basically, or nine, yeah, 19.6. And this one usually hangs out around 21. And the or fourth one here hangs out usually around 24, is flatlining around a 25.68. So these particular notes have been, are either playing right now for real consistently over this much time, or this is just kind of where the graph kind of pooted out and this is what we're seeing. So I'm just reporting the numbers so you can see, but we can see that there is still bizarre little movements happening here but so slight so tiny and this particular charts these charts are russian and this information is is being given to the public through a russian website at least that's what it appears to be and in my background i haven't been able to find a where a place where on this site you can actually contact them for information and get a hold of them and ask some questions about their work but this is just something i like to show where it says that the work that they do which is more than the schumann resonance they measure the weather they measure ma the magnetic field the ionosphere electromagnetic background information they they measure a, di a few different things, but similar. And so, and there's color coded areas all over this map of multiple places and projects and spots that they're doing, but it's not labeled. So I don't know if the blue dots mean those are all the Schumann resonance uh, locations that they measure. You know what I mean? But there is obviously data being collected from multiple places in the world about this, but all of the data is gone. Like it, it's not gone, but it's not data that we can really work with and people will say that we're going through timeline jumps and that you know the the site or the place the, the 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 laboratory or whatever that's pushing out this information they're having issues or something and really you can speculate all you like i'm not going to tell you one thing is right or the one thing is wrong i do have my own personal opinion which is that i personally feel like this is some type of uh, a stoking of the flame of the community to look at this and to be aware of this and to bring up conversation about this. And there is a potential when this stuff happens for a theory that isn't entirely true or doesn't have any evidence to get viral and spread and convince all the people who have just learned about the human resonance now to think something more crazy is happening than it is and things get sensationalized and so on and I just am not really a fan of that because as a scientist the whole point is to not sensationalize things it's to become even more rational and logical and try and gather more points of data to compare and contrast and try and get some more information and answers instead of you know seeing one thing and then claiming it is another thing and then telling everybody that this is the absolute truth i just don't i don't believe in that and so here i am with my own opinions offering my stuff to the internet and you can take it or leave it all you want but I'm just trying to caution against going crazy about this information. What is going to be fun is to see how long this thing actually goes. If it goes and it stretches along and this whole chart fills out to be this particular f image or whatever, copy, paste, copy, paste, the whole thing, that would be pretty cool. That'd be a first. That's the first time I would have ever seen anything like that on the Schumann chart. We've never seen a blackout go the whole day, at least not from my memory. And I've been watching these since about 2017. You can go on the Wayback Machine on the internet and look up this website 
in the history. So I've had people be able to pull a web page of this from 2012, a few days before um, December 21st, 2012, they were able to find that somewhere on the internet, that image. So this graph has been out there for quite some time. I became aware of it around 2016 and I started fit like publicly talking about it in 2017 and uh since then it's been history like this is what i do now so let's look at some more data just to add on to the collective so first of all the, a lot of the data i get i gather and i i value is community feedback so on my instagram and my facebook i will post uh, these images and these reports and I will write up a report, give the data, give the information, and I will ask the audience for their feedback. And I get wonderful comments, wonderful comments, wonderful feedback, lots of insight, lots of people who think they know what it is too, and they want to offer that, and that's amazing. And I'm really grateful to all of you who do give me feedback, and I'm just giving you a personal shout out. Thank you very much. And to all of you who have also taken what I do and have brought it into their own blogs and into their own realm and their own healing practice, and they've also shared about this, but also direct people back to me for more information. I appreciate you as well. This information is being disseminated, I think, by a lot of responsible people. But again, we're trying to also keep this the science of this decently solid, at least the scientific endeavor and sharing of this solid, so we can grab the left-brained people and merge them with the, the right-brained people. This is, in my opinion, such a wonderful bridge for all of us to talk about the expansion of consciousness, the technologies that are available and being used on Earth. And the, this research, the Schumann Resonance itself, was mathematically discovered. Uh, now they say, I think, in the 50s. But when I looked back, I think they've changed it or I've jumped onto a different timeline. But this was like back in the 30s, in the 20s. They were mathematically predicting that this thing is, it existed and then doing tests on it and figuring and discovering it with some scopes, like some antenna in the ionosphere way back then. So there's so much more information about this that is actually out there that people actually know and this science hasn't been brought to the public and so we're doing it ourselves and demanding more uh, answers to our questions from the people who are looking after this and maybe even manipulating this we we want to know we want to know what you know we want to know what you're doing and we want to know because this is our planet we live here and you know you do not have our consent to be shifting the entire ionosphere without permission of you know, us. So this is, I think, the bridge that we're all looking for. So I would like to mention as well, I have a Patreon. This is how I do what I do. Um, and I'm about to do the monthly tarot reading video because it's September. So if you want to pop onto my Patreon and be joined as a pledge here, here or here, I have options here to help me support all of the animals that live in my house <laughs> and that I look after. That is just for the animal lovers who are also a lover of the blog. I made that an option. And I also have an option where you could just pay our rent every month. And if you have the abundance and the willingness and the desire to do that and help us just be free of that res that issue and that need, we could, we could do so much more. It's amazing. So if you have that ability, I just made that an option because you know, ask and you shall receive. Open up the portal to ask for what you need and that stuff will come in. It, and that is an experiment I'm working on here. So if you would like to be that person that supports us on a monthly basis in any of these ways, I am giving you that option. So here you go. And you'll get a reward. And if you want to pledge more and you still want to be a part of the, the monthly reading, of course you can. There's custom pledges down here. So pledge whatever you like. And if you want to be a part of the monthly reading, just let me know. And I might, I might just let you in, you know, I'm not really that exclusive about it. What we also just had a full moon. So we have some energy. It is a Pisces full moon. So this is a more spiritual and emotional wellness and awareness moon. This was going to bring people into a more spiritual and emotional mindset and feelings. So if you've been emotional, if you've been feeling more spiritual, feeling more activated, it, this moon is also a part of it. We have other sources that talk about the Schumann Resonance for those of you who may not know. There's one called the HeartMath Institute, but their graphs are down. And this happens very famously at the same time that the blackouts happen. There is, in my opinion, a, synchron a synchronization between these two companies and between the Schumann Resonance that's being publicly given. 
so we have I have no extra data from them this is an Italian place that measures the electromagnetic field and during the 2nd of September they do mention a blast and then some underlying background information here over the days that we are seeing a blackout in Russia and now recently we have another little blast like this so there is some evidence that there is someone honestly giving some data out there about the ionosphere but this is again measured specifically above Italy and so may not be able to apply to everybody on the planet but some people are sensitive enough, sensitive enough that they do feel these things no matter where in the world where the concentration of the energy is hitting the ionosphere it does permeate it does go around the entire con container this energy does so you could you could still feel it i think that's the that's where i'm at with the research that's where I, what i believe i would be happily proven wrong if someone would like to present me with that data i'd love to discuss it we are also seeing a little bit of so solar wind going on. I'm seeing a little bit of solar activity. I'm seeing, um, let's look here, all these websites and stuff that I watch. It appears that there was a magnetic storm on the 1st of September. So we did have some geomagnetic activity then where something did hit the planet. We reached a a KP level five, which makes it go into the red zone, which means that the magnetic field around the planet was contracted and almost like thicker because of the disturbance that was hitting us. Currently, I don't see anything popping off the sun either, but there's probably stuff that we're not seeing. And if you didn't hear on Instagram, the hashtag, hashtag sun was hidden. This particular hashtag is hidden from people. So you can't Re look up what other people are posting about the sun right now on Instagram if they tag the sun, which is super random. So again, it's making me a little suspicious about this data. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I don't want to be suspicious, but maybe just weary and aware. We have a lot of lightning going on as well on the planet, which would indicate Schumann resonance, at least according to Schumann resonance science. Lightning and the Schumann resonance are very much related. So there is a lot going on. I'm seeing lightning all over the place. All these little dots are lightning. These little strikes you're seeing real time are happening around, around the planet. There's a lot going on, especially in this really intense region over here off of Australia. Australia has been getting a lot of attention right now. A shout out to all my Australians. We're watching and we're looking after you as well. You know, you are not forgotten. We definitely see that there's stuff going on over there. And earthquake-wise, those are lining up with the storms. I'm seeing slightly different random little earthquakes off of islands in the Caribbean. The volcanoes are doing fine, really. And the weather is decently normal. Again, there's a lot of like random weather storms and so on. But personally, from the data that I've been able to gather really fast that I look at for these shows, I don't see anything that's super alarming. Please send it my way. Put it in the comments below if there's something that I missed. Of course, I truly want to be honest and try and give information. But this is the report of the Schumann Resonance. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for being here. This is my YouTube channel. If you're seeing this on my Instagram or my Facebook, please go over to my YouTube and subscribe. If you feel so guided, if YouTube's your space and you like to chill, because this is where I will post um, the videos that I like the most that I make on either Instagram or Facebook. The really good winners end up on my YouTube channel for that audience. Um, but YouTube's just a different realm, so sometimes I don't play there as much, but it can change. Things can change. All right. I believe that's everything. Let's let's root for this thing to reach across the whole chart. And then I'm going to slap that on a shirt. And that'll be the next uh, Schumann Resonance fashion that you'll be seeing me wear <laughs> and telling everybody about. Because this is pretty spectacular. I would definitely grab screenshots of this and save this in your phone. Because this is a monumental day in Schumann Resonance observational science. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for all of your support. If you'd like to you know, donate anything or whatever, you can PayPal me. If you'd like a reading, you can PayPal me. That's right here. Just make it obvious in your PayPal transaction what it is you're sending it for, and I will be in touch. Okay, that's everything. I love you all very, very much, and um, 
yeah, I'll be seeing you again very soon. Goodbye.